Every time I hear the first words of the Lord's Prayer, I'm reminded of how we can have a true and intimate relationship with God the Father. This statement takes me back to the story of Adam and Eve eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And after they've done that, they felt shame and, and guilt and fear for God. And when that happened, they tried to hide from Him. I it's such a weird concept, that hide, trying to hide from God. But this hiding from God happens throughout actually human history until Jesus comes onto the scene and says, Our Father. You see, because of Jesus including us with Him in this prayer, we can also now pray without fear, without shame or guilt, like a child does when he speaks or she speaks to their Father. Hebrews 4 verse 16 says, Let us then approach God's throne room of grace with confidence that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. You see, the Hebrews writer is in essence saying that we might make mistakes in life and we might feel unworthy, but God the Father wants us to approach Him without fear, without guilt or shame but rather know that we may talk to Him face to face about our struggles or even our triumphs or just the things in our lives. May you realize that because of Jesus, you too may speak and pray as Jesus prayed to our Lord.